everyone, so I'm going to do a body review on my Merry Doll Round Olaf in the cookie skin, but more importantly on the Petrichor body, which is the body I'm going to review right now. Um, I won't go too much into depth, depth. I just want to let you know what kind of are the pluses, what are the maybe a little bit of a downside. Um, first it up, she's a really nice height. She is about, um, I think, 59 or 50 between 50 and 59 centimeters, I'm not sure how tall she is actually, um, but the measurements are on her website normally. Um, I think the definitely plus part is um, her posing. She poses really nicely. And also, of course, the aesthetic. I really, really like how this doll looks and she's absolutely gorgeous. And I think one of her best part is the way her arms are engineered. They are just so good at posing it is incredible you can see how this arm just is so nicely it holds itself so well and the resin quality is also really really nice i have not i think she has the best resin out of all of the dolls that i own um now that i'm at the arm anyway i'll just quickly show you the span of the wrists like that it does go a little bit side to side but not all that much but honestly how much do we go side to side with our wrists then I'll just first go up to her head so she can bend it down like this and bend it up oops sorry like that she can go side to side just a smidge but not a lot it's just a little bit depending on how you put her it's a little bit hard because it also wants to go as well like that. But she can go like nice in betweens to actually shake her head um, in different ways. I kind of showed off her um, her shoulders and her elbows already. She has a really nice torso joint, which really has great um, holding of her poses. She does snap back there, but usually she holds it really nicely. She can do a nice arch as well. And um, it's nicely fitted so she doesn't have that weird overlap that some dolls have. In the back you do have a little bit of a like a stop thing like coming out but you don't see any open gaps which is really nice. Then her, um, her hips, they stay up okay but they're not, but they're really heavy legs so you have to forgive her for that. Um, she stands really well. I just stand her up here. She stands really nicely, very sturdy. Like I can wiggle her around, I can push her, but she's not gonna budge. Um, she's a really, really good stander. I absolutely adore that about her. She's very solid, which is really nice. Um, I I like that feel. Um, she does have the like tendency to go like that, but you can very easily correct that to make her stand a little bit more straight. She likes to go like this. You can fix that by just like making a such a little. Um, then the thing I have the most difficulty with is the knees. Um, she bends them really nicely 90 degrees, but getting the ball joint out is a little bit fiddly. I'm gonna try to show you. Like you have to pop it out and then making it stay is, like this leg is quite okay, but the other one snaps back really easily like that. So that's a little bit awkward sometimes, but she does do it, and I think suading will help her a lot. She doesn't have any suading in her, so I think suading will actually solve that because it's just the snapping that's really bad. And then her ankles, she can go all the way down to make that cute little pose, um, and she can go up a little bit as well. Um, I've noticed that her feet are very nicely, and they can hold... Um, high heels so these feet are able to fit in some high heeled uh, shoes which I think is nice because you don't have to switch out um, to use that so that's a short little review um, of this body if you have any other questions or want me to show you anything else specifically you can always ask me um, so this is the petrichor body um, I think I've said all the things that I really wanted to say about it um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the sculpting is really nice. The joints fit, fit really well. I really like the peanut that is in, in the arms. That's just a really nice 
it has a nice looking elbow um, you can see it's a little bit gappy but I don't mind that too much just because of how beautiful it makes all of the poses so that's that's her so thank you for watching and if you are like I said if you have any questions concerning this company concerning this doll um, any of her posability abilities um, let me know let me just test if she can stand on one leg I think she can oh there we go let me just let you see that so this leg is completely loose you can see that my desk ends here and so this leg is completely loose so she's standing on one leg so there you go she can do that as well so if you have a question about that so this is everything that I'm going to show you today and like I said any questions post them down below um, and I hope to see you all soon thank you for watching bye